Apocalypse Omicron Edition. <laughs> so I spent better part of two days when it was in the 50s. It wasn't bitter cold. We've had some bitter cold weather, but I spent the better part of two days tearing up pallets. I got two and a half of my little, you've seen me drive around in my little trailer on my right. thing. I had two and a half trailer fulls of scrap that I could burn. As you yes. can see, I'm making more as I use yes, it today. Yes, right here. To so this will be enough wood for us tonight. But at any rate, and I got stacks and stacks of lumber. Okay? Some of it is really weird. Yeah. Okay? Most of it is regular pallet boards. That's a regular pallet board. Right. Okay? Aren't they usually oak? Okay. They're oak, they're pine, they're all kinds of stuff. But I tore up some pallets that were really strange. Oh They're my. veneered. Oh, wow. Okay. But the middle, as you can see, they're made by slices and slices oh, and wow. slices of plywood all glued together. That is so odd. It is odd. But it's it's pretty strong stuff, and it and doesn't matter for wallboard. I mean, people put paneling, which is crap, and sheetrock, which is crap for wallboard. Right. So it's perfectly strong, especially after you put it up. Right. And what I'm doing is not particularly as cool looking i think uh -huh. as the as the um, distressed wood as the regular reclaimed distressed wood yeah, right well the regular pallet wood right so what i'm doing is i'm putting oh. it behind what will eventually be the cabinets and the shelves right. in this room right this room's going to have shelves that come out about here the width of this little narrow wall and then it'll have a cabinet over here uh -huh. all the way so across behind here the cabinet i'm putting that in what i have to keep reminding myself and my son's like i would have run the electric line already well i would but i'm getting the electric line from him and i still don't have it yeah so i need to go get it yeah so but he's right because i've already wound up putting insulation that i'm not going to have to take punch a hole through to make my wire but right right any rate so what i'm doing is i'm putting up feed sacks yes as you go as i go and if she can come over here you can see i see you've got all kinds I'm of styrofoam. stuffing styrofoam down in as i go so i can put it in and i'm just taking this styrofoam shit that i have and just kind of all the wedging it in there and behind the wall and stuff and you know, is it perfect insulation? Is it the best? No. But, you know, I had some big pieces. Yes, I see that. You know, and I got little pieces. I got boxes of this shit. You know, I got all kinds of it. I'm going to use as much as I can. Well, and this wall right here... This wall is the one that gets most of the wind. Right. So the cold wind and stuff. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just stuffing it full. And then as I put the boards up, the boards hold. And then I put yeah. another piece. And it also gets the afternoon sun, which in the summertime is going to be hot. Except that it's also it's the aluminum. The can, it's aluminum, yeah. so it'll reflect. And the tree will it's shade. Tin. It's tin. It's excuse tin. me. It's, it's tin. Aluminum. That's right. It's tin. Um, it's tin. So it's going to reflect a certain amount. And, of course, the tree will be full of leaves by then. So. Right. But the idea is, is mostly to, to, yeah, to insulate this one. I want to get as insulated as possible. Yep. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. And so I took, what did I do? I took pallets that I got for free. Right, they were throwing they them were away. they were throwing away. They, they put them in great big things with free signs on them. At the lumber yard. At the lumber yard. Right. And I'll just, when I go to the lumber yard, I'll just load my fucking truck, whatever, as high as I can with pallets and bring them home. Right. This year it's also doubling as a way to get more firewood because I was working on this and didn't get as much firewood as I normally would put up for the winter. So anything I can get it's is firewood. cherry. Yeah. But if little, there's a stack on the porch and there's a big stack out there. Here. There's part of it. Right here. This is all pallet wood. wood. That leaning up there is pallet, is pallet wood. wood. There's a whole bunch more on the deck below. Okay. And then if you'll take a picture as you're going out and show them the great big stack that's on the carport okay, that I that. did because I stacked it out there. And so I got all kinds of lumber and firewood. Yeah. Okay, it took me a better part of of two days. I probably, you know, I probably spent Maybe about... Maybe six or eight hours. Probably spent about eight hours right. doing it. Yeah. Okay, so isn't my time worth more than that? Well, if I was making any money writing, it would be, but I'm not. Right. right. So since I'm not making any money... At the cost of lumber, I 
probably made about ten dollars an hour, especially if you count the firewood. I probably because firewood now is selling around here for seventy five dollars a rick. Yeah, yeah. So if you count firewood, I probably made fifteen dollars an hour. Right, right. So how much is my time worth? It's a lot of work. I had a stack of tools. Some of them come apart one way because they're different pallets and they've got different wood on them. Mm -hmm. And not only that, not only when she shows you these stacks of wood, I also have five half sheets of plywood that right. I got. Right, that are stored. That are in the, they're in the storage. Right. So, is it a lot of work? Yes. Pole folk have pole wings. Yeah, yeah. Well, and now it's not going in a landfill. Now, it's not, not as, now it's not rotting. I'm doing this building and I'm using as few new trees as possible. These are already trees. These were already once trees. Yeah. They, you know, and now I'm using them again to build with. So I'm not so what so what's the plus? Not going in a landfill, making more CO2. Mm -hmm. Right. I got it for free. Right. So it's just work. Okay. And, and you're not I got Burning more trees. Wood. I'm not destroying more trees. Yeah. So all of the things you do, you can either be a schmuck and just use, 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 or you can do it. Is it easier to work with new wood? You yeah, bet your sweet it ass. Is. Yes. It's 150 times easier. And yes, I get 60. I am 61, almost 62 years old. And I still start my projects with, first we denail the lumber and cut off the crappy yeah. parts. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, is it easier to build with new stuff? Yes. You have everything insulated now, right? Except for except that. Except for the ceiling. Well, ex and, the and that ceiling, one place where and the. that piece there, I've got it insulated with cardboard. Yeah, but where the wire But now comes I'm through. like stuffing styrofoam and but everything. But that one place doesn't even have cardboard. Yeah, the wire, the wire goes. Is. The wire goes. You can see I wrote up there so that I wouldn't cover yes, it up. Yes. But I forgot to write over here. And so you covered it and over so here. So I covered it up. Now I gotta drill a hole. Well, that's okay. it'll work. It'll go through. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, and you but everything is insulated with cardboard at least. Yep. Except and I've for got the ceiling. Ninety-nine percent of the car, the the um, cracks caulked, which right. is a huge deal because wind will cool it down. Right now, the wind is blowing like a bitch out there. Yes. We got it's like I don't know did it it's broken freezing but barely barely it's like what 35 I 37 think it's about 35 right now something like okay that. it's 35 the wind chill factor is what is the wind chill I don't know but I'll find out I'll tell you okay. in a minute but at any rate and I brought that little oil heater in here and plugged it in mm -hmm. and but mostly just the light from the sun made it work because I was working in here way before that takes forever to heat up yeah it does so I was working in here an hour before that heated up and I was I'm wearing gloves, I'm wearing a hat, I'm wearing a jacket, I'm wearing... It's 37 degrees right now and it feels like temperature is 29. Yeah, so it's cold. But in this treehouse, with that's the only heat we have. Over there, I'm, I, I'm actually working over there. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't want to run an extension cord with a heater. Mm -mm. But at any rate, I've got a low heater there, that's it. Well, and the and sun. I've got it on low because I don't want to. Yeah. Because I'm using a lot of power. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But this sun. St I'm standing here right now, and I can feel the difference because part of me is in the sun and part of me isn't. Yeah. And I can feel the yeah, difference oh, yeah. where the sun is hitting me for yeah, sure. So for I'm sure. moving into the sun. Yeah, I'm moving to the sun. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I don't eat my lunch now. Okay. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'll catch more as I'm leaving. Okay. And here is the stack she was talking about. It's more of those long ones, I think. Yeah, the ones that are put together oddly, the laminated ones. Boy, there's a bunch. Um, I just got them in here in the next level, completely under roof. So it's protected from the weather. Love this little place. When the weather gets hot, this is going to be one of my favorite hangout places because the breeze that comes through here from three directions and the shade, it's a beautiful spot and it's right in the big middle of everything that's going on, which I really like. Okay, I'm going to show you what's in the carport. And here we are in the carport and 
this is the rest of what she took off the um, pallets. Now you'll notice there is a pallet underneath them. This is one of the pallets that she's decided to keep. She's going to keep it here for right now for lumber. Um, and um, then she's going to move it into the shop the, at the other house to keep feed on because why not? Because it's better than the plastic stuff she's got on there now. She still has two more she hasn't taken apart. When she finishes using what she's got stacked up over here, she's got pallets under there that I'm sure she will use one way or another. And that's not even counting what she will pick up between now and then. Under there somewhere, there is some regular lumber, I think, although she may have used it up, I'm not sure. But there's still an awful lot of good stuff in there. Well, all of that's good. And uh, between that and what she took off of the pallets, and we'll take off of future pallets. That's what the inside of that tree house is going to be made with. I think it's so awesome. It's also going to be the ceiling. I can't wait till she starts doing that because talk about saving heat. We'll show you more about that when we get there.